feel free to give me a follow on Instagram at Kaylee Media Girl. As you can see, I'm always posting stories. Look at that. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you some basics on the Scoutly app. This is just basic reading the data that comes up at first and how to make a quick decision. So just basically, this is the app screen. This is the um, barcode thing, voice search, cost of goods, triggers, profit, FBA, used, new, um, where you would scan one of these. They just updated the app. This was a live search. Um, this is a bar graph. You can see bar graph information on the item. You can slide over. And if you slide over again, you can do your summary. So this is like the total amount of things that you've scanned. So since I reinstalled this app in December of last year, I scanned a $1,009 profit. Mm -mm, I don't set triggers. And yeah, so that's the basics. So I'm gonna scan my first item, just like right here, hit this. Scan the barcode. So here we have a CD. At first glance, if I'm at a book sale, this is all I'm going to be looking at. So cost of goods, we're gonna say cost of goods is a dollar. That's the average going rate. So I'm gonna click on this to get the exact FBA profit. So if you paid a dollar for the CD, you would be losing 90 cents and that's before taxes, inbounds shipping, all of that. So it's a CD, Titanic weighs 0 0.20 pounds. And the new buy box price is $7.70. Days with sales um, at 142 days, the rank is 13K and this. So I just scanned this item. I'm pretty much looking at this, this, and this. I'm not looking at any of this. Now, if it's iffy, I may, but if it's at a book sale, I have to make a decision in a second whether I wanna buy the item or not because somebody is literally scanning right next to me. They're right here, I'm here, they're here. If I keep dallying around, they're just gonna go whoop, right past me and I'm not gonna find anything else. So when I further investigate the item, again, remember, this is the database. So this is data that may not be fresh. So this information may not be correct. To find out what currently is going on, I'm gonna hit the live button. It takes a little bit of time. I recommend getting a database. So I have it in NF mode. If it's not found, it'll do a live search. There's multiple modes. So now that we've done a live search, you can see that the new price has gone up to $9.98. That's current live right now when I'm filming this video. So if I was to buy it at a dollar to sell for $9.98, my profit would be $3.08. So you make about three bucks off this CD. Um, So that's the used by box price, $5.30, which is right here, and that's in very good condition. So we have V for very good, L for like new, A would be acceptable, and G would be good, which we have a good one here. This is the FBA. This is pretty much all I'm really paying attention to. If things are iffy, I wanna look for a strong merchant fulfilled price, which assume, pretend these were not here, this was $9.98 used, and this was $4.81 used merchant. I would probably not buy the CD because it's liable to look like this. Hypothetical situation, which you'll see all the time. There's 189 used offers, so obviously you have a huge advantage if you're selling this item FBA. And with a 17K rank, that's really, really good. And the average rank is 11.8K, which is really good. This would be a really good buy if it was not selling for $5.30. And then new merchant, we have it at $8.98. All the way, if you scroll, you got somebody who wants $26.98. So I don't think they're going to get that. Okay, so now we've moved on. Let's scan another item. Okay, so we have a video game here. So it has orange that is the highlighted price that's where you're getting this profit from so we're we're talking fba so i'm at a book sale i scan this i see 80k rank and the price i'm throwing this in my bag so fast like it's it's in the bag this is in the bag right no playing around i would never do a live search on this 
if the price was a dollar, if the price was $20, yes, I would do a live search, but for a dollar, it's going right in the bag. I'm not doing a live search. So 18 used, 65 new, the rank of 80. That's so great. That's a really good find off of my personal shelf of video games. Anyway, so here's the um, live data. So again, 38, average rank is 203. So right now it's a really good seller. Um, 184 days of sales, which <laughs> that's really good. It probably came out 184 days ago, who knows? So we have good 45, like new 47. And just for curiosity purposes, let's see. Okay, we have no manual and the game is missing. So if the game was in here and there's no manual, that'd be good at best. Be disappointing if the game was really gone, right? Okay, and then for if you found it new, it would be $49. And 22 FBA, 15 used merchant, and 56 new merchant fulfilled. So again, you can change your cost of goods. Say they're going to be greedy. They're like, oh, five bucks. You'd still make $30. Okay, guys, I hope you watched this video the whole way through and if you liked it please subscribe I would really appreciate it thank you so much for watching also feel free to give me a follow on Instagram at Kaylee Media Girl as you can see I'm always posting stories look at that okay thank you for watching please like and subscribe